Hey guys, all right, sorry for the clickbaity title, um, but it is a very important topic that we need to talk about. I'm seeing tons of people doing prepping videos, prepping posts, prepping groups on every social media platform there is, and that's exactly what's going to happen to you. When you are posting pictures and entire videos of your preps and your stores and what you have to be prepared for situations that will likely arise soon you are asking for that for someone to come rob you to say oh I don't need a prep I'll just go there and we've all heard that oh I don't need that you know, if anything happens, I'll go to your house. Really? That's a terrible idea. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because you've been warned to prepare. And they're not. But you're all over. I'm not talking to anyone in particular. But it only takes one or two pictures. And people will remember that. Not only just regular people, but governmental entities as well. It's one thing to share, here, this is what you should be preparing. You know, I've done videos like that. I'm going to do more about, like, what you should be preparing and things like that. To, but to actually take pictures of even half of your items is so dangerous. And you might think, oh, well, we've got this and, and all of these things. But I'm seeing women do it over and over and over and even men, when you're doing this, what if your your wife or maybe your teenage daughter is sitting at home by herself and somebody decides they're going to come rob your stores? It is not something that, oh, that would never happen. I mean, maybe if you have some bunker that's, um, <laughs> you know, like underground and you got keypads and stuff, but I highly doubt that's where you are. There, there are people that have that, but... It's so dangerous. It is absolutely... It, I, I wonder why people even prep. If you're going to show everybody what you have. That's why whenever I've done my prepping videos, I just show, like if I'm cooking something, I'll show you that aspect. I'll show you how to can it. I'll show you, okay, you need to get this. This is a good thing to have. This, this, this. I'm not like, look at this. Look at all of this. That is so dangerous and ignorant. I mean, it just puts you on the map for anybody that's, and especially even the government. I mean, we, and most people in the prepper community knows these things, but why is it still happening? Do you think that a Facebook group is private? I mean, you can't possibly believe that or any group on any online platform. T heck, honestly, even your text messages. What, what it, why would you ever need to send pictures of all of your preps? I mean, I understand that people make a living on YouTube and, and that's your channel and you like to do that. But at this point in time, with things going the way that they're going you see we're not seeing things in the media but whenever you are in groups on other platforms like police um i'm on a telegram channel that's police whatever um and so they're posting stuff all day you it's almost overwhelming that's why i only check it like once a day it's overwhelming at the massive crimes i mean the police officers being killed like it people are going crazy literally and i mean it's understandable i see what's going on um not only that there's a spiritual war that's going on we we can see that even if you're not religious i'm not sure how you cannot be at least see that there's a spiritual realm to this and you know a spirit is not like oh it's not like a ghost like they they show on tv or whatever it's like um, it, it infiltrates entire situations, kind of like the heat. Um, 
in Louisiana. Whenever you go outside, everything's just like melting, you know, just sweat draining. It sweeps in and takes over that entire thing. And that's, that's the Antichrist spirit. It's, it's going through the media to these, to be a limb to Antifa, even to, to both sides of a situation. Um, it has no, you know, even in churches, we're seeing these hate-filled churches uh, that I wouldn't really consider a church. But people aren't thinking rationally, or they're thinking in a survival mentality. Look, you have to look at all these things. Uh, we have jails just letting, prisons just letting out prisoners. Uh, people with no jobs. They have Some people haven't had a job in 11, 12 months. And you know that when things go down, people will do things in desperate times. They just will. And sometimes people just do it because they enjoy it, unfortunately. And they're like, hmm, well, this person already prepped everything. I'm just going to go hold them hostage. Or I'll just do it while they're not home or while their teenage daughter is home. Um, actually, right before the hurricane... Um, the first one that hit uh, down here, uh, Hurricane Laura, we had um, an elderly couple that was murdered by someone. I don't, we don't, I mean, we don't have the whole story, whatever, but he w wanted to take some of their stuff. He took their gun, he took some guns and he took an RV and some things. It actually, the RV was parked it, he crashed it into, into a ditch down the road from my parents' house. That's how some of it, how we essentially end up finding out what was going on. Because we called the police, like, why is this RV? Because where my parents live is way out in the country. But this is off topic. But the thing is, that's what people do. And you, you can't be showing all of the things that you have worked so hard to prepare showing it all over your videos, all over Facebook, all over Instagram, or whatever you're on. You're setting yourself up for failure, which is completely the opposite of what you're telling other people to do. This is just a warning. I mean, I know it, it's, um, it's enticing that people make these channels and they get really big with these channels and a lot of them make a lot of money doing those things. Um, so I understand that sometimes it's a second income. I, I understand all of these things. But you can do all of this stuff without showing where... I mean, it doesn't even take a rocket science to find out, oh, well, yeah, they live this place, and you, they can show up. I mean, with technology these days, you get an IP address of someone, you get this. It, it's really not that hard their voter registration card, you can find almost anything online. And you think that you're not going to be a target for someone just to come take all your guns, take all your uh, food preps, everything that you've been storing for all, the, all of this time? I say absolutely yes. It, it's putting a target on your back, especially what the, banking, the bankers are doing right now. I mean, they're literally going crazy. Uh, they don't care if people eat. They have to make sure that their bank accounts have billions in it. it, it it's just how they are. And I just wanted to put this warning out because I'm seeing it so much more. So much more. And it, it's just dangerous. I mean, absolutely be prepared. Just stop showing it all over. Just, why do you need to do that? You can find them everywhere. It's crazy. I just, I don't understand why anybody would go through all of that work and, and then show everything they have. It, it just, I don't know, it just seems counterproductive. And if you're not prepping, you better start, like, real quick, fast, in a hurry. <laughs> just saying. Uh, especially you're, if you're in the north, um, because things are not looking good up there um and there, there's there's riots going on all over the place there's protests 
going on all over the place, still burning down things, still beating people in the street, just crazy, just crazy stuff. Um, and it's not just in the U.S. Um, it's going on in the Netherlands, in Russia. Um, I saw one, was it maybe Australia earlier? I mean, just all over the West. I, I believe, you know, and this is calculated. It's a spiritual calculated rebellion. Um, but, I mean, I understand the rebellion, but there's a, a certain point. Like, that's really not how you fight spiritual warfare you just don't do that but i won't get into that um i just wanted to tell y'all that and for anybody that is doing that you need to just really stop it's dangerous it is so dangerous take them down if you have any of your stores on you know posted take it down it, just take it down okay anyway i hope everyone is having a wonderful day Put a comment down below on maybe a, a prepper type video that you would like to see me do. And I will talk to you later. Bye guys.